Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. On the night of April 19, 2025, when the 28 nanometers lithography machine of Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment, SME, passed the national acceptance, the sarcasm of TSMC founder Maurice Chang 20 years ago was suddenly dug up and whipped. This machine, codenamed Dawnbreaker, can carve lines on wafers that are 5,000 times thinner than a hair, and it has pushed Chinese semiconductors into the nano club. You should know that three years ago, ASML President Peter Wenink said, Chinese people make lithography machines. Unless the crabs on the beach in Shanghai learn calculus. Time goes back to the humiliating spring of 2023. The U.S. Department of Commerce put 12 Chinese chip companies, including Yangtze Memory Technologies on the entity list, and ASML evacuated its engineers stationed in Shanghai overnight, leaving no paper towels in the toilet. SMIC CEO Zhao Haijun yelled with red eyes at a drinking party. The Y-10 aircraft was discontinued that year. Is it the turn of the lithography machine today? No one expected that the fuse of this Jedi counterattack was hidden in a renovated house in a vegetable market in Pudong. On June 18, 2023, Shanghai was so stuffy during the plum rain season that water could be squeezed out. SMEE chief engineer Lao Tang squatted next to the fish stall in Tangqiao Vegetable Market, with a second-hand ASML lithography machine detained by the customs in front of him, this was the anatomy textbook that was obtained through the Burmese black market for half a year. The boss lady who sold hair tail cursed in the Sube dialect, you dismantle this iron lump every day, and my stall is full of oil gas. On this day, Lao Tang's team discovered ASML's top secret, using the rare earth element neodymium as a laser reflector coating can compress the wavelength of ultraviolet light to below 193 nanometers. This discovery made everyone crazy, the high purity neodymium monopolized by Japan is more expensive than white powder on the black market. What's even more amazing, is that they found an 80-year-old mirror grinder in a mountain village in Zhejiang. The mirror surface smoothness of the old man's ancestral craftsman is 0.03 nanometers higher than that of Germany's Zeiss. On the night when Typhoon Maihua landed in 2024, the workshop of Wuhan Yangtze memory was suddenly flooded. The installation team of SMEE dismantled the Dawnbreaker, prototype worth 1.7 billion yuan into parts, and carried them on their shoulders in the 10-level gale. Engineer Xiao Wang was cut on the thigh by glass shards, and he insisted on holding the laser generator in the waist-deep water for six hours. This thing is more precious than the gold bracelet my wife brought as a dowry. The real turning point is hidden deep in the coal mines of Shanxi. An old researcher at the Taiyuan Coal Chemistry Institute of the Chinese Academy of Sciences played with the byproducts of coking using silicon carbide extracted from coke oven gas to make the world's cheapest lithography machine workbench. When ASML discovered that the Chinese stuffed cheap materials into cutting-edge equipment, Wenink was so angry that he smashed his iPad at the shareholders' meeting. We sell technology, not Shanxi sliced noodles. Chapter 3 The Shocking Reversal at the Acceptance Site On April 18, 2025, at the Acceptance Site, a dramatic scene caused the global chip industry to explode. The SMEE engineer deliberately slipped and spilled a cup of coffee on the lithography machine. The Japanese expert was about to laugh at him, but found that the machine was running normally, it turned out that this was a special waterproof and shockproof version. What's even more damaging is the real-time comparison data on the big screen, 
Dawnbreaker, processes three more wafers per hour than the same model of ASML, but consumes 15% less power. SMIC placed an order for 500 units on the spot. Yangtze Memory Technologies was even more ruthless, converting the newly built ASML dust-free workshop into a pig farm and live streaming. Dutch pigs use Dutch lithography machines, a perfect match. The most outrageous operation came from Huawei High Silicon, which engraved a line of small words on the Dawnbreaker fuselage thanks to the U.S. Department of Commerce for special sponsorship. When the news of the mass production of Dawnbreaker spread, ASML's stock price evaporated by $23 billion U.S. dollars in a single day. The saleswomen in Shenzhen Huaqiangbi changed their business overnight to sell lithography machine accessories, and the titles of the Douyin Live broadcast were all Domestic Chips Are Cheap, pissing off American capitalists. The most outrageous was Jingju Foxconn, which converted Apple's A17 chip production line into a lithography machine parts workshop. Cook flew to Beijing overnight to beg for mercy. Let's talk it over. Don't touch the production line. This 28 nanometers breakthrough battle broke the window paper of Western technological hegemony. From reverse engineering at the fish stores in the vegetable market to protecting the machine with one's body during the typhoon, the counterattack of China's semiconductor industry hides three ruthless tricks. 1. Surround the city with the countryside. Use township enterprises as an auxiliary to pull high-end manufacturing down from the altar. 2. Turn waste into artifacts. Coal mine waste and vegetable market parts can all be turned into gold. 3. Overt conspiracy to break the blockade. You cut off the supply of lithography machines. I even overturned your pricing power. As it was said in The Three-Body Problem, I will destroy you, and it has nothing to do with you. When SME engineers were eating Shanxi knife-cut noodles at the celebration banquet, ASML headquarters was urgently recalling all equipment in China not because of technology leakage, but because they were afraid that Chinese counterparts would see that the machines also used Iwu small commodities. Looking back in the spring of 2025, this breakthrough may be the watershed of history. When the Dawn Breakers began to mass produce 14 nanometers chips, and when Huawei made 80 defeated iPhone 18 with purely domestic chips, the eastern country that was once ridiculed as only able to copy is rewriting the rules of the game in the most hardcore way. The hat of technological hegemony will definitely be worn by the Chinese.